Is skill proportional to beard quality? About 50-50. It okay. really is. It this, definitely helps. Oh, yeah, you do have a beard. Yeah. Everyone has a beard. It really, if you don't have like he has with the Aventhild, you have to have a beard for protection. <laughs> Say that again? Even my wife has a beard. <laughs> so, that's her? No. no yeah, that's her right there. <laughs> <laughs> Think I she didn't hear him. <laughs> I'm here at InfinityCon in Tallahassee. While most people come to these conventions dressed as someone they admire, I chose a more realistic route and dressed as a depressed, unsuccessful YouTuber that has lost his will to live. I'm here with Harry Potter. He's Captain America, uh, the Endgame version. A Mandalorian Merc. The world is goth queen. Uh, I'm Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. I am a zombie. Zephod Beeblebrox. Katana from Mortal Kombat. We are Vikings. We are we are Vikings. Sub Zero from Mortal Kombat. I am Thor from Avengers uh, Endgame. The attention you get at these kind of conventions dressing up, does, does that also really feel the passion? Absolutely. Um, the biggest part for me is, is the kids. Yeah, when a kid sees me and says, hey, Cap, or that's Cap, and they got that big smile on their face, it's, it's amazing. I, I love the reaction. What really fuels the creativity that goes into these costumes? I had a heart attack and died. <laughs> Do you prefer the books over the films? So, my dirty little secret, I'm not much of a reader. Okay, okay, so you haven't read any of them? I've read a few in my younger Short days. Ones. More or less, yeah. Okay. <laughs> you guys do this a lot? He does. Just free is, time? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, how long did it take you to make this? Not long enough. It's like a uh, like a pageant almost where... It's a beauty and styling contest okay. for gothic models. How many people are usually in these competitions? It can range from 35 to 70 countries. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And you're from Tallahassee? Yeah. Okay. The goth queen is... So what do you think about Infinity Con so far? Uh, it's pretty impressive. Not bad for a first year. You mentioned before you had an involvement in Zombieland. Yeah, I did. I did uh, work on Zombieland. I'm actually yeah. a zombie in Zombieland running through there too. As you can see, period correct clothing use only. Sketchers actually founded in 1300. Meeting all your expectations? Yeah, for sure. I've been to the one in Lake City that they've had for the past couple of years, so this one's a lot of fun too, a bit bigger. Nicer. Bigger? Yeah. This is bigger. Do you find your hit on more in costume? Yeah. <laughs> um, a little bit, yeah. Is that one more, of the reasons more than you dress up? It, not necessarily, but it, it's, a, it's definitely icing on the cake. You're like, what am I doing with my life? I want to put. I couldn't do nothing else, okay. so I got into building my own costume. Cool. What do you think about um, her her releasing new stories now? The I mean, it's her franchise, her universe, so if she wants to expand upon that, who's to stop her? Yeah. Are you looking forward to those? Yeah, maybe, like... Won't read them, but <laughs> there's a movie. What was your inspiration? Why did you choose this guy? I thought it would be a great way to get attention, and I was right. So is this more uh, theatrical, or is it... Is it like wrestling where you kind of fake the moves a little oh, bit? No, it's, uh, it's a living, breathing museum exhibit. What's your favorite zombie yeah. movie? Zombie Land, because my cousin actually helped with that when he was in it and did some of the makeup. When, when I was just a kid, mm -hmm. I was in 1985, I was being bullied pretty badly. I got beat up. And uh, so I learned that the bullies were afraid of cemeteries. Right. They were just scared of them back in the day. And so I started hiding in there. But the cops would catch me and they would throw me out and the bullies would get me. Mm -hmm. So I figured out that if I dressed like a mourner, they would think I was there mourning. At night? At night or whenever, okay. you know, whenever I had to get, you know, get away from the bullies. Do you think you'll be back next year? Hopefully, yeah. Do you have a plan, costume plan? Nope. This was, this is my first and it was literally, saw the movie, I was like, oh, I can do that. Yeah. <laughs> and spent two weeks making this thing and that was it. So what do you guys think about this uh, event so far? Um, I think it's pretty good. It's the first one I've ever been to, so 
pretty, pretty fun. Are there a lot of girls that do this in your group? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, my wife, uh, his girlfriend, um, quite a few people. Are you meeting any new people out here? Oh, I mean, lots of people. Yeah. I love talking to people. Yeah. Now, you consider this a hobby, what you do? Uh, in a way, yes. We are part of an organization called Nordrika Vikingar. I can't imagine you being bullied now, looking like this. You're very intimidating. There's no way. I get bullied every day. Oh, man. Now, I've never been to one of these. I've never even heard that you, this is a thing. Of course, I've heard of Civil War reenactments. Do you, th do you guys think you could boost your numbers by challenging a Civil War reenactment group? We've you guys versus them? Do you have anything you want to say? Uh, just, uh, you know, people need to embrace their differences and uh, stop judging books by their cover. Okay, totally agree. Awesome. This was my first time at any kind of convention like this, even though I've always wanted to go to one. I can't believe I waited this long. The people I met were amazing, and the event itself blew my expectations away. If you can, try to make it out next year. I know I will. Guys, I got a question. Who shot first? Obviously. All right, there you have it. 50-50. Wait, I, I gotta ask the question. Yes, sir. Okay. Having a blast? Having a blast. Yeah. All right. Having a blast at Infinity Con, yeah. Tallahassee. I'm here with Jay with Factory of Effects. <laughs> and 